How's everyone tonight? Um. There's been some new updates on the Sebastian Rogers case. And we're going to look at a couple of them tonight. We're going to finish off that, what we were watching last night, which was Eliza Nines. Uh, let me just pull up for me. Get that ready. And what I didn't do was last night I played this the video. Um. Oh, what should I say? The uh, the phone call. Really, what I should do is play it from the beginning. So, I'll be right back. I've got to get me. Thanks. I'm back. And set this up ready. Um I didn't play it from the beginning. And to be honest with you, I thought it was just gonna be Brooks talking like she does. Well, it is just Brooks, but it's a uh, this Chloe woman, not the PI, another Chloe, right? Is talking, and I was talking about these phone calls they'd had with some other neighbours. And I thought, oh God, I missed all this. So. I thought, right, well, I'll play it when I play. Hold on, my cat's getting in my craft bag. Um, oh, you again now. Pack it in now. Right, pardon me. So, we've got that. But first of all, I want, I know I've got it up here and I shouldn't have it up there. I should I really need to get this up here. This is about the PI. Uh, as... She's not working. Didn't post that, did I? No. Some other posts. God's sake. Right. Right, I'll share this first. And I shared it to my Facebook. He find. Rather than keep going through all these other Facebook pages. To... Anyway, it's like a wrong thing this is. Everyone who is coming out Seth, right, has some through um, 
and people stalking them and following them and all that lot. So I got the search script and I backed away because of this. And I'm watching who lives in that area. She's had to, she hasn't backed down, she's still going out, I believe. Someone put, she's not going to that area anymore because someone put out on a Facebook page or somewhere comments where she was searching. Now she some of her mods and I would go out so but she never said where she was searching ever because she didn't want people following her. Wets or nothing. Because she lives in that area. I mean you know, like she's got to think of her own side and her side of people with her. She never ever where she went searching. But someone put it out. She was searching. So now she's she won't go back there. And it's so annoying. You know what I mean? When people are not get telling you where they are, it's for things. Not because they don't want it. And when will other people realise this? Not everything we have on here or see, we won't hear everything and see everything because law enforcement won't tell us. <coughs> and that is their, their right. They don't need to tell us. And it's so annoying to me that people think they need to know every little bit. No, you don't. You don't. All I keep asking you to do is to keep or in the flyers, if you have flyers, print them off. If you haven't, print them off or whatever. And keep putting the flyers out there. Keep them flyers being put up everywhere, anywhere. Right? And let the, the police do their job. Now, we've got to trust the police are doing their job. We've got, well, I believe they are now because FBI are in on it. And FBI... We'll look into this, right? They are look, they are looking into that case now with the picture at the grandfather mounting, right? They are looking into all that, and I'll touch on that in a minute. But it's just like now, this private investigator has stepped back. And this is what she has to say. This is Justice Warrior Investigations. It says, And thank you all for your kindness. Many of you have noticed how we've been in the last few days, which I know must have been a shock considering that jobs. Yeah, I was quite pleased that they got quiet. Right, so to speak, about the of a hashtag Sebastian. I apologize for my fake answers and sometimes lack of an answer to all your messages. You have you have all been so supportive and you do not deserve to be ghosted. So I'm going to put this here and I pray that you can all get behind the new direction of the case. Right, what's new? Direction? We don't know, so you know what I mean. How can we get beyond the new direction of the case if we don't know what the new direction is? But uh, we support Seth, we support Sebastian, and bringing him home. And I suppose I'm in this as well. Not so much Chris, I've given good two hoots about Chris, but Katie, possibly. As you probably know, my style of investigating is a tactic that is meant to draw people out and get to the bottom of what's going on. 
we walked into a SHIT store that had been brewed for some time and things got really out of hand. Aside from that public outburst in on web sleeps, oh yeah, that's public yeah. The public did not know what had occurred behind it. What the public thought was the tip of the iceberg was the tip of the iceberg and I was becoming extremely concerned about how oh, God's sake. Uh, where am I? What the public saw was the tip of the iceberg and I was becoming extremely concerned about how far things would go, whether any of it actually had anything to do with Sebastian is debatable. Some say yes, some say no. Regardless, someone needed to step in who could calm the storm that, and that person is Tony Mathis. Now we're going to be hearing of him when I play. Uh, a YouTube a YouTube video suit. Now, I did successfully open a line of communication between myself and the Proud Fools. And I was trying my best to defuse the situation. However, I needed to step Um, I'm there trying to defuse the situation is is a narcissist and his way or you diffuse something into a brick wall. I wasn't able to do so and therefore someone else needed to step in. I was in the very best and I agree that also although transparency with the public is necessary to some degree as the things that are better kept close to the vest. Exactly. That's what I didn't about. I didn't agree with her going on these YouTube channels talking. She's a not there on YouTube channels. She's there to get information and track the person they're looking for. Uh, whatever. Get the information that Seth wanted. Not to go and sit on YouTube channels at the end of the day. And really talk about the case. You know, she didn't say much. She was talking about the case. That is not keeping it close to the um, fit. On one thing regarding Katie, I don't know what happened on February the 26th. The day that Sebastian seemingly vanished into thin air. Thin air. However, I've seen something in her past that breaks my heart. She's been chastised over something. This is her family. We're talking about Katie. Unfortunately, we don't get to choose our parents. Please t try, try to have some empathy, at least pertaining to that aspect. That's all I'm going to say about that. Right? And you can't choose. You don't. You cannot choose your family. You cannot choose your mother and father. Last I heard, in foster care or something like that. Right? Lastly, I have heard seeing many asking if I'm still working for Seth. With with recent developments and with Mr. Mathis taking over, I am stepping back. Justice Warrior investigation services are always available to him if slash when he needs us. But to answer your question, we are no longer under retainer. We do believe that the photo at the grandfather mountain is Sebastian and until we know one way or the other there isn't much we can do. If it is Sebastian this will become a federal case and we will be thrilled for the FBI Federal Bureau of Investigation to take the lead.
this would be the best development yet. As a private investigator, we can do a lot to help the case along, but we do not have the ability to get warrants, and that is what that is is what needed to gather the evidence necessary to find Sebastian. Exactly, because law enforcement won't give them the information. They've got to get a warrant, haven't they? They get a warrant for the uh, I don't know uh, the statements uh, that Katie and Chris and everyone and all of that that happened on the sixth. Then give Seth and his boys or whoever is working for him need to look. We will continue to follow the case closely share updates as they are released to the public. We love Sebastian and we will continue to pray for his safe return. Respectfully, Heather. Now, I don't know what any of you lot think about this. But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Because, as I said, Law enforcement won't give them any information, won't give them the, pa the paperwork they was asking for. So to get all that information and paperwork, he needs warrants. Now, does he need to get an attorney who can help him through, that, through, uh, through all that? Can you afford an attorney on a long term? No, it's too expensive. Right? Now, this Mathis guy, He's just going to help Seth stay calm, right? Uh, not to get his hopes up, built up, all this lot, and to help him get through this, right? And what he needs to do to do to get what he needs to get, right? If he has to hire an attorney just for one or two things, then hire him. And once you've got the information, that's it, you don't need to hire him no more. But I think it's just good. Hi there, Bonnie. Afternoon to you. It's evening here in the UK. Good afternoon. Hope you've had a good day. Well, just looking at the statement that um, the PI, Heather, has put out. And the fact that she's no longer retained by Seth. Because I don't, to be honest with you, I didn't like her in the first place from day one. Did not like her. Right? Now, I knew there was another one. Yes, I've had quite a busy day in between sorting out. I did a live earlier. But that was a very early one for you lot over there in the USA. It would have been about 10 a.m., 11 a.m. your time, wherever you're based. So I did that, but that was about Chad Durham. And it was just to, to update everyone on what's happened since that day and up till now. Right? So if you want to see that, that's on my YouTube channel. Um... And I've been doing some of my crafts, craft work. But, anyway, so, and I didn't like, getting back to this, I didn't like how Heather was going on YouTube channels and talking. As I said, what part of the PI does she not understand? Private investigator. What part of that did she not understand? If I, if I had retained her, Right, so it was my child and I retained her. I would simply start, state, do not go on any YouTube channels, do not put posts up on any Facebook pages, right? Whatever information you get, you give to me directly. If we need to get the law enforcement involved, we will. You know what I mean? But she was putting posts up on Facebook, she was going up on YouTube channels, and I didn't like that. I just didn't like... And like, there is another private investigator. She's doing it 
playing. Hold on. This up. Brian law enforcement in North Carolina has answers in for the Sebastian family about the photo. Well, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Right? So, so that's the PR now, not in it. Thank God. But we still got, I, I believe, the other young girl, the other private investigator who was doing it, uh, what do they call it? When they do it for nothing. You know what I mean? Because she was boots on the ground as well. She was more hands on. I think she's still helping him. And tracking, getting any information she can from anywhere. But anyway, this morning I was on YouTube, watching YouTube, I should say. And I've gone down to one of my favourite YouTubers. And it came out that law enforcement, TBI, have a video or videos. I'm not sure if it's one video or several. Yes, it's a photo. Right. This here. Can I pull it up? Oh, God, where is it? Where is it? Go back up. My mouse is playing up. I need a new mouse, I think. I haven't had it long. But then again, it doesn't help when it gets dropped on the floor constantly. This picture here that I've got on the screen now, that is not edited. It's not AI. It's nothing. That is the real deal. Now, law enforcement TBI have got video of that lad. And on that channel I was watching this morning, he actually got this picture of that lad, who I think, I believe is Sebastian, cropped it down, so it's just that lad, and put him again, you know that picture they've got of Sebastian standing by the trophy? Put it, cropped that picture down so it was just Sebastian, and put those two pictures side by side, right? The height is the same. The way they hold the feet, the feet and the feet go in, and the legs and everything, and the ankles go in, the same. Apart from the clothing, and how he's got his arm like that. But where in the one photo with the uh, trophy, he's got his arms down. In this arm, he's got this photo, he's got his one arm up. But I still say this is Sebastian. I don't think that woman, this poor woman, has got anything to do with this. I don't. She's just walked past, wrong place, wrong time. Whoever he is with, he's got to be with someone because they've had to pay to get in. And you wouldn't just walk and you could go in by car. So, all right. Hi, yeah, it's a real deal, Steph. Yeah, it's it said you spoke to the lady. Yeah, exactly. That lady is not with Sebastian. No, I completely agree. I don't think she is, and that's just looking over that photo every day and looking at the angle he's walking and looking at the direction she's going. You know what I mean? And then looking on Google Maps at that map and thinking he could be walking over to the other side. And behind that building is another car park. So he could have been heading that way with whoever he's with. She could have been heading to that car park up on the hill a bit. Not that one there at the back. There's another one just up on the hill. She could have been heading there. Right, so I can hear my cats go mental in the background. So, anyway, is the original. Steph, I spoke to the lady, everything. And I, some people said, by putting this picture out there, you could put, you, you would possibly put this lad in danger. Yes. 
that is a possibility. But perhaps if law enforcement or TBI were just polite enough to come back and say, thank you for your email, we are looking into this. Please do not release this to any social network site. The lady wouldn't have done anything then, she just kept it. But because they didn't get back to her, she's thinking, are they working on this case? Are they doing anything with this photo I sent you? Because this lad is a spitting image of Sebastian. And because they never got back to her, a family member, a friend or family member who's seen the photo, which she showed him, said, well, I'll put it on Facebook for you. And she did. And it, the whole Facebook social network sites just exploded. So, perhaps law enforcement, TBI, take note. Someone sends you information via email. Just send them a nice little reply back saying, thank you for your email. We are looking into this. Please do not put it on any social network site. And then this one have got out there. But you know what? I'm glad it has got out there. I'm glad this photo is out there in one way. Because it's giving us some hope that Sebastian is alive. Right? How we got from that house to there? We do not know. And we will not know until they find Sebastian. Right? So, all these people going, oh, but they're not working the case. They are working the case. Like, just because they're not telling you every little move they do and every little thing they do, does not mean law enforcement or TBI or FBI are not working this case. They are. They are working this case. We will not let them forget this case. I am on this case every day. The only times I'm not on it is on a Friday night when I've got my grandson and a Saturday night. Once a fort, two nights a fortnight, I am not on this case. I may not be on tomorrow, but we'll see what happens tomorrow if anything comes out. But I doubt it because it's Sunday and we don't get any new information on a Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, we don't get any information. So I might not be on tomorrow night. I might have a night off. I'm just concentrating on some of my craft work that I'm doing. Or just chill out. Get one of his own. Anyway, so they have got a video. Law enforcement, TBI, have got a video of this lag. They will not show Seth this video. Because you, 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 take this for instance, if it was your child, right, and you've seen a video of your child with someone else, right, and it was your child and it was with someone else, what would you do? I know what I'd do. I'll get in my car if I drove up, that is. Oh, or I'll get someone else to get in the flipping car and I'll go down and hunt that person down. You know what I mean? They cannot afford Seth to do things like that, to go off on his own. They can't let Seth do that. They need to do it. They've got to keep it so that they, only they know what they're doing. So Seth was a bit let down about that, but he did manage, while he was there, to get flyers put out. And you know what? No one knew about this. Lad. No one. As he's hanging out, he didn't even know about Sebastian being missing. Right? So perhaps whoever's got Sebastian has probably took him out before. They've been out before somewhere. Yeah? And no one's recognised him. So they thought, oh, well, safe, no one recognises him. They didn't forget. They forgot there was one woman. Actually, one woman who actually spotted him. So thank you to this woman. I hope I hope to God it is Sebastian. I really want to it to be Sebastian. I'd like a happy ending this time. I don't want it being dragged on for years and years and years because law enforcement are sitting on the backside of the side door. 
but I can't see that happening now because this has gone federal. This is FBI coaching now because if this is Sebastian, then the FBI will be informed, or will be on the case because it's crossed state lines. So they will be working on this case. And as I said, in the middle last week when it first came out, I said, you, we won't know for days about any of this photo, whether it's real, whether it's fake. You know what I mean? We won't know if they've been there and got video. We won't know that because they're not going to tell us. <clears throat> Even Seth didn't tell us until he got back home. And... This is one of the interviews I'm going to be watching tonight. Is Seth on the Pascal show? I love his show as well. I love watching him. He's another good one I like to watch. Right. So, further ado, let's get into that video, shall we? Oh, no, 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 no. Get into that video. I want you to listen. To this one. Right? Share this tab. I want you to listen to this. this is from the video we was watching last night. Listen to the beginning. And it was only today when I was listening to the beginning, I went, oh my God. I skipped all that to get to that phone call. So, we're going to listen to this. I've got to put my headphones on because I can't hear them. Right, we're going to listen to this. Oh. Yeah. Skip it. Right. Skip this and they've roughly right. been there about two years. Oh, right. Hold on, we got to go back a bit. Hold on, we got to go back. Woo, girlfriend, we had a busy day yesterday, did we not? Yes, we did. Hey, guys, I'm so happy, happy to be here with you, Brooks. Yeah. DT Driver said, yay, Chloe's here. He gets sick of hearing my voice all the time. All right, so um, I did give a sneak peek to the members. We're going to go through it today. Let's go through some of our conversation we had with, well, a couple of the neighbors yesterday. What st struck you as the most disturbing? One neighbor we talked to has lived there for 13 years. He said the Proud Feets have been there for two years and doesn't seem to have any yeah, love loss. Yes, I'm a bit annoyed about that because she's got a video. Bye. Point for public, she's public members only. So to see you go into a channel and you click on that, you'll get in. If you're not, you don't. I'm not a member, I'm subscribed, but I'm not a paid member. Hmm. Thank you, Brooks. I might, I might become a fully fledged. I can watch that video <laughs> just so I can for no ass Chris Proudfoot. So what struck what really bothered you about what we were told? Well, the first thing was the um the way that Sebastian was treated that was seen outside the house, some things that we were told. Um like down. I thought that was awful. Um, and, let's that, um, and let's elaborate on that. Okay. Because, I mean, not everybody was on the phone call. No, we weren't. Uh, was outside, and he had a pressure washer. And he was spraying down the fifth wheel. 
Sebastian came outside, I guess, wanting to do outside things. And he started screaming at him, cussing him out. And, and he hosed him down with the pressure washer. Now, I don't know about you guys, but those things hurt. We use them to clean off the house. Um, we have to turn it down to low just to wash a car because they'll take the paint off of a car. All right, go ahead, Chloe. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. So that scenario right there really, really bugged me. Um, the fact that um, a couple of the... Let me know if you can hear the video. Questions that I asked, I don't know. I, you asked so many questions, but like the fact was Chris Proudfoot really gone that whole month? Like he says he was, and he's, mm -hmm. and that was a big question for me too, because that's something I've never really believed or knew if I believed. Um, he only spoke about Sebastian as Katie's son. He never called him his son to anyone else or even a stepson. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've heard how he speaks about him as he's my son, you know, like those sort of things, just kind of debunking a lot of what we, well, confirming a lot of the behavior and actions we've seen by Chris Proudfoot and then debunking some of the things that we've all known were lies. Don't you think? Well, because, oh, no, you're exactly right. Because he's only trying to... Now, we've had three... Why is my life counting up moving? Oh, it's moving now. For sake, it stopped. I'm thinking, why isn't that moving in the counter? Not that many people's in there, but the timer. It wasn't moving, it stopped. Three different neighbors. We had a... We had a long conversation with one yesterday that said, no, normally he would cut out of work early on Thursday and then leave out either Sunday night or early Monday morning. So he didn't and work Fridays. The pressure washer thing happened in February. My question is, and don't get me wrong, some people say, well, February is too cold. You have a lot of nice temperatures and it's like a baby spring. Anyway, why that one weekend was Mr. Proudfeet away? And why lie about it and say that you've been away for a month, which has made us all suspicious of that in the first place? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why was Seth um, alienated for a month? Exactly. Exactly. Because my time has stopped to get. It was said by one of the neighbors that Chris Proudfoot. When asked about Sebastian, of course, we know that he would kind of pick on him. I'll put it that way. He said at school, they call him Mr. Piss Pants. That's the reason Sebastian wore a pull up. When one neighbor was asking about Sebastian, he said, that's Katie's retard. Oh. I'm not. Was that, to say now, that that really, really upset me. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, it, it breaks my heart. And I don't believe for a minute that the neighbors are making it up. And it's no. Eat. Things like sushi, tofu, food, things like that. 
And, and so one time, now mind you, let's talk about that, Chloe. Yeah, let's. That's what I was gonna say. We should definitely explain that. So they, Chris Proudfoot was disliked by the neighbors so much to the point where when they had neighborhood cookouts, that they did not invite him. He was only invited one time, and not night him around. And then yeah, you tell him what he said. He said about, about Sebastian. It's horrible. Um, he even said to one of the neighbors when Child Protective Services was, you know, coming around, he said to Katie, where people My timer keeps stopping. And then it'll come back on again, come up, and it'll shoot up to the right time, how long I've been on it. But the fact it keeps stopping is annoying me. So I hope you're getting this clearly. working okay now no as, yeah it keeps stopping and then starting again it's starting to annoy me anyway let's listen you can hear it he goes or i go mm -hmm. their last visit he said this marriage is not going to work out well go figure he hasn't had a marriage work out yet yeah right and they've roughly been there about two years because one of the neighbors we talked to yesterday he said, we've been here for 13 years. He's like, I'm like 45 seconds, you know, from the house. He's like, I just sell the house and move. Because he's like, they've been here about two years. And his his biggest complaint seemed to be about Chris Proudfee. Absolutely. So, that was the main everything he had to say that that person was about Chris. And it was very. It shed a lot of light onto his behavior. Well, and. He had an issue. With. Things. And. It was explained that Chris Proudfeet is very homophobic. And he would say, he would tell him, you know, that's what faggots eat. That's why they were so hell bent on the Texas Roadhouse. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, I can't believe that you would even use that word. I don't. Uh, is a, just a gross word to even use in my opinion and then to say that about food come on i love sushi <laughs> I mean, we all do a lot yeah. of us in in eating healthy is something that was important to sebastian's diet in my in my assumptions so i don't know well and the thing is i totally believe that chris uses that word all the time I do because too. He contacted me about me saying words like moobs and no ass. He called me a faggot. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah. What are we going to do? Now, the CPS of the belt open, mm -hmm. this it is actually me. has to do with the mattress. This all right, this. Chloe. This is a lot. Yeah, this, this is. So, Chris took his mattress, Sebastian's, out of his room because he said, I'm sick of smelling piss, and put it in the garage. When Sebastian was talking about how he sleeps in the garage at school, CPS showed up and they actually asked the neighbors, have you seen this? Help me out here, Chloe, because that's a lot for me to digest. Yeah, it is. They ask other people and they confirmed and a neighbor we talked to confirmed that he was made to sleep in the garage and he had heard him yelling about 
um, smelling piss is his words. Um, and, you know, we all know that it was very cold there the night that he went. What did he say about that mattress? Oh, that was for his daughter's bedroom. This is why it wasn't about the bout, bout right? Family services or social services or whatever was called in. It was because at school one day he said Harry sleeps on a mattress in the garage. Now he's not going to tell Nancy Grace that, is he? He's not going to say anything to anyone about that. I will share the fact that he used the belt on him. And I'll, I'll say, no, I don't believe it. He just wants to use that belt on him. Right? And, but he wasn't going to share the fact that that mattress is where they would make Sebastian sleep in the garage. Now, like someone said in a comment earlier, how do we know he wasn't in the, in the garage on the night he disappeared? It was cold that night. Anything could have happened. And what did... Oh, the doors... So, if it was cold, he couldn't even get back into the house because she locked all the doors. Yes, okay, he could have probably got out the garage somehow. I don't know. I don't know if the garage door, that one little door they have to the garage, right, is locked from the lock by key, possibly. And if so, did she lock that door and take the key out? Which meant he couldn't get out the garage, he couldn't get in the house, he was in the cold, freezing garage. Now that is, I was utterly so disturbed about that when I heard that today. It was like, are you flipping serious? And the fact that neighbours had heard him say that, called him a retard and sprayed him down with a power pressure, right to the point where he went into a, a meltdown. And Katie had to come and Katie had to come and calm and get him and calm him down. This is what he was living with daily. This poor lad was petrified. And this is one reason he probably wouldn't talk to his dad. Because he knew what his dad would do. He knew what his dad would do. And that's why he wouldn't talk to his dad. Now, if I was Seth and I heard all this, I'd go to the police, lock me up now because I'm going to kill that mother effer. I'm going to kill him. You know what I mean? Lock me up now because I'm going to kill him. And they want them to work together. They want... Chris and Katie and Seth to all be on the same page and work together. How can you be on the same page when, A, they're not telling the truth about what happened that night? And, B, as a father, you're hearing all this information coming out. And it's coming out. Neighbours, pardon me, I've got a bit of trap wing. Right, neighbours are talking. Right? They are talking now, and it's all coming out. Some neighbours didn't want to be put out there, which I can understand. But the bloke we listened to last night, yes. And apparently, near the end of that interview, she said, would your wife be willing to come on tomorrow night? Tomorrow. So whenever this was done, the next day they was going to have another interview with him and his wife. 
and I suppose that's members only. So it looks like I'm going to have to pay up. Brooks, you're making me pay up. So anyway, we're going to listen. I hope you're getting all this because my timer keeps stopping and starting. So I hope you're get, getting all this. Missing. And think about the other nights leading up to that through the whole winter that if he was made to sleep out there. And, and what child who I, I would believe I, I would be scared in that situation to live with a man like that. And I could understand, you know, if a child has disabilities and certain things that, you know, accidents can happen if you're scared. Sure. If you're, yeah. if you're being mistreated, if you're being abused. Active said, you know, watch teas today. I'll put his link in the description. You need to watch that. You can buy a waterproof mattress cover for something like, say, $49. Right? You're paying a lot of money for these beds and mattresses. Why can't you just invest in a, a mattress cover protector? And then stop and think, why is he having these accidents? Why is he going back to having these accidents where he's sleeping in the night and having these accidents? Why? Because he's going to sleep petrified. He's scared to death. Right, so I believe there was an open investigation. It wasn't because of the belt. It was because the neighbours had reported him to show services about the mattress incident. Um, the school reported it to Mary, and then the neighbours just confirmed it. Right? The neighbours confirmed what the school had told child services. I mean, if you I'm didn't know it's that house. I'm 48 years old. I don't trust a fart. Yeah. <laughs> we can all have accidents. I mean, it's so degrading. And Sebastian comes outside thinking that he's just going to spend some quality time with his step daddy. And he hoses him down with the pressure washer. And that shit hurts. Yes. And to the point where. The neighbors oh, said yes. Sebastian was having a total meltdown. Yes. And Katie had to come get him because he had a total meltdown from it. And Chris yelled, get your retard. Yep. Wow. It's just, this is what the neighbors saw. Think about what happened inside behind closed doors. He has no shame whatsoever to act like this in front of everyone. To go on panels and be disrespectful and say the things he says. I mean, imagine how awful this person really is. If this exactly. is what people just around the neighborhood saw. And whether it was called on camera, I don't know. Because one neighbor we talked to said he has six or seven cameras around his house. I know I the like next it, door neighbor who does not want to go on the record. Yes. Um, he has yeah. several cam cameras. Got cameras three weeks ago. They had people putting up cameras because they were, they said they were being harassed. And they said, we saw those people in the neighborhood. Let's just get, let's just get to the recording. Also, for those of you that are wondering, the price of 12 eggs in China is... It would be $2.20 U.S. dollars. I'll put it right there because I don't exactly know their currency. Look at that. Again, and play the whole lot, I will. Otherwise, I would skip to where we finished last night. Which was what? One hour, 24 minutes. 
Hi there. Good to see you as well. Right. Now, I'm as I said, I'm going to skip a lot of this next bit because we didn't watch it last night. And I didn't finish it because I was getting on for two and a half hours, something like that by the way. And I was having trouble with the video and the sound and all that lot. So I just ended the stream right about then. So I'm going to jump to that one now. Because this is where they're going to that phone call with that gentleman. Right, but he still has a lot to say after this. What was the time again, honey? 1.24. But I'm going to go back just before. Justin comes in. Because Justin, I'll put his link in the description. Oh, I'm slipping my roses. All right, we have our good friend Justin backstage. Justin, what do you think about all this? Hola. How are you Hola, doing? Justin. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Brooks. How's everyone doing? Is my fan too loud? No, sounds good. You look gorgeous too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so he admitted that he didn't want. Oh, come on. He did not want uh, anyone around his daughter, especially Sebastian. Uh -huh. And he admitted that on uh, the phone call with Terry Lynn. Uh huh. I thought that, and this, and he, he had done that interview way prior to doing, I think, any interview. Maybe it was, I know it was before the Nancy Grace interview for sure. Trying back right. March. So, yeah. And I know some people are seeing this guy isn't credible and if something changed with nick barris from the article i read i apologize as i have said a million times before you're not going to get breaking news here um just not going to happen i'm not an investigator do you do you find this neighbor to be credible justin just your opinion i mean uh from what i've heard Again, what a surprise. Every time at the end of a live, you have to click a thumb up or thumb down. But I think I'm going to put a thumbs down tonight because I'm going to say, will you stop kicking us off StreamYard? We're paying for this. Stop it. You know what I mean? Because it's so flipping annoying. So we're going to share this again, everyone. You didn't miss much, honest. Oh. We're back. All right, we got Justin back. Damn it, it's still not working. I mean, too many add up to what we actually know in, you know, black and white. 
And if any of the neighbors want to come up, as long as this has been disclosed to law enforcement, which I was told over and over, they have been here many times. Right. They all of our ring footage. The CPS was because of the mattress in because Chris Proudfeet said he was tired of smelling piss. Well, we're and that's to his why BS. Ashton was in the garage on, on the mattress. You know, I've been long. Uh, is is that what is that what she said? He said, "Sorry, pardon yep. me." Is that what he said? Yep. Okay. Okay. I didn't hear that part. I apologize. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, the neighbors uh, from the neighbors that I've spoke to, you know, he, they kind of kept to themselves, uh, but nobody really, you know, the the ones that they did talk to, they just didn't really. There was a couple neighbors that did, didn't really care for Chris. None of, them do. He does. None of them do. None of them do. Because I mean, he's yeah. done nothing but show his ass mm -hmm. anytime they're around him. And I mean, him saying, I'll put a size 14 in your ass, that's crazy. How is he Dumbo the Clown? Uh, I'm just you know, I mean, a size 14. How <laughs> tall is he? Exactly. That's what I said. He's he's a dumpy little. Smurf, are you kidding me? Now, my husband wears a size 13 in boots, he's got the pecker to back it up. All of Chris's ex wives have said he can't close the deal. Sorry, I'm not trying to get you horny, Justin. It's the no, truth. You're not, trust me. <laughs> you're not with Chris in it. No, I'm sorry. Uh, so, no, I mean, he's. He can't be over five foot eight. eight. Yeah, five, I think nine. he's five foot eight. Hey, my my fiance that passed away, he wore a size fifteen shoe, and he was six five. So I don't know anybody that wears. Look at his ears, Justin. I mean, this guy is like a garden gnome you ever seen a garden gnome with size 14 ariats on no no right. I see what you're <laughs> no i see what you're saying um he'd be tripping over his own feet yeah 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 that's not gonna work for him i'll give him an eight eight and a half at the most this I mean, is what we're dealing with. I don't mean to knock, but I'm just. But I, I personally think that the that. Uh, I mean, well, you just have, well, if you ask the FBI, they're already involved. Mm -hmm. You have this, now, you had the sequence at our house. At your house? Um, yeah, the secret service, they were going door actually, uh, they were going um, actually door to door. And, they were asking questions. Well, so, so okay, I'm so sorry. I keep interrupting. This is confirmed by law enforcement that they did bring in other agencies to go door to door. Yep. We know that. And so they did bring the Secret Service out of Nashville, FBI, TBI, because, well, if you have a lot of food to cook, you need extra sous chefs. 
if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. I mean, they need all the help they can get. Mm -hmm. If there's not going to be anything soon, it feels like it's going to be Summer Wells 2.0. It is already that way. You have Katie who jumps in her vehicle and lives around for and 10 she minutes. she said she's driving around for 45. Um, well, you know what's interesting to me? Like, she's in the car in, like, a, a couple. Like, she, she had, had to go in there and check on... Right, Sebastian, and then pretty much just jump in the car, which is kind of odd to me. Right. She didn't look around now, the house very long. The she, could said she only went, she was only out that house for 10 minutes in that morning because I thought, where she have gone for four years driving around? Where was she gone? But she said she went up by the school and all around that way. But where was she gone? She took 45 minutes. Get there and back. She's only gone. Now that fits in. Just nicely. And over. And coming over. Just putting that out based on the time uh no no not at all no and i don't know exactly what time she called um big dick boots i don't know um right. i will say that they have they have a lot of agencies involved and as we have known from other cases well, I'll just put it out there. I mean, the Gannon Stout case, they right. use the secret service to search the phones. Yes. Yeah. Much for it not being a criminal investigation, you have a lot of agencies involved, do we not? For um, mm -hmm. something that's not criminal. Which they've been here as well. Okay. You have the Secret Service. They've been here as well. You have you have the FBI. They've been here as well. And those are the three agencies. South Henderson, um, um, out side of PD. So. Where they could say it's actually that there's no foul play or it's actually or that there's no um I think they need to address that. They need to say why do they feel that way? And now I understand if they're trying to build a case on someone or, I mean, you don't want to give that other person the um, its upper hand. So. Oh, and I totally agree with that. And I know people want more answers. They want more answers. They want more answers. Mm -hmm. But it, it's best, you know, to not tell, you know, the mouse what's on the other side of the cheese. And. And then, like I just said, you have, I mean, which, I mean, I feel sorry for Seth. I mean, and I feel sorry for actually.
guilty involved or what, but I did find some something interesting. Hold on. This should make Chris Proudfoot feel better. Did you know that Michael Jordan has a size 13 foot? Wow. Left foot is size 13 and a half. I'm sorry. Size 13 on his left foot and a size 13 and a half on his right. Interesting. But at five, um, five foot six and 200 pounds soaking wet, Old Chrissy Poo has a size 14 in a boot. Huh. We're wow. learning all kinds of stuff today, Justin. That is. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. How does he have such a big foot? And he's at the neighborhood barbecue saying, I'll put a size 14 in your ass. You wish. Interesting. Yeah. Have you had any, um, I say um too much, Explain me. Have you had any correspondence with Chris, Chris Proudfeet? Um, not directly, no. I mean, I have. No. Okay. I'll, I have to tell you. We'll, we'll, we'll do it off air. Yeah. If you look at the whole picture, there's, they left Texas Roadhouse. But that was the actual last, um, it's actually sighting um, of Sebastian. So, from the morning, now, she called Chris, and you do know that he's working on a new wing of St. Jude. Yes, that's what he said. Yeah. And he was on, and according to the private investigators, he was on the crane at 5.15 a.m. Now, it doesn't mean that it was started up, doesn't mean it was running due to the noise ordinance, but... That's yeah. that's Seth's private investigators. I would hey, yeah. yeah. Yes. And Yesterday, uh, Chris said that on some job they run twenty four seven. The now working. Nuts. We gave him a yard shift. Calling. Sam now, I know a YouTuber went. To his work. Right, so anyway, what I was saying is a certain YouTuber went to his works and he, was on, he, he didn't go in until he got moved on by security. And uh, he was there on the evening, on an evening time. And the you could see the cranes, but they were not moving. They were not moving. Right? So you could see the cranes, it showed you the cranes, and they was not moving. And one of these nights, I'm going to sort that video, YouTube video out. And yeah. Because it was not moving. 
and got to the point where I said those security hospital security and because he wasn't allowed to film. He said, but I'm on a public street. Halfway, I'm allowed to film. And so what I did, just to any arguments, but then he ain't which I don't want to be on. Anyway, so he was there, and those guys were not working, not on our time. So we can Why would they be working on the night times? Now Chris is working nights. Why would they be working there? They wasn't working when this YouTuber went there and filmed it. St. Jude's to ask if he works there. You're not going to get anywhere because for one, I'm just going to say it's a HIPAA violation. And two, he doesn't work directly for St. Jude's. He works. Right. You're not, they're not going to tell you. And I was really into the noise ordinances. And stuff like that until I put it together. It's a hospital. See, if you're police stations, fire departments, things that are considered vital essential mm -hmm. they're not going to deal with that they're not going to ticket anyone for making noise yeah and also but, he works for a union he doesn't work directly he's right but a lot of uh, but a lot of hospitals they don't work weekends either for side i mean I don't, maybe they do it where he's at but you know, especially Sundays, but I don't know. He didn't work on Sunday. He just didn't come home for some reason. And we hear the neighbor saying, no, he was home in February. He was at the Texas Roadhouse with Katie and Sebastian two weeks prior. Sebastian was wanting something at the restaurant. Came unglued, upset, and they left the restaurant. He was home in February. Yep, I did hear that. I did hear that. And there's no way, in my opinion, Chris was not at home at all in February. We have to know what's going on. That's right. That was my, my question to, to the neighbor, to the same. I, I had to ask. Uh, like he stated he was not. He said absolutely he was. Mm -hmm. Yep. But he wasn't there that weekend, according to Seth's private investigators who say they can back it up by law enforcement but can't put out what they want to, which I respect that. Does that mean was he there that night? Right. Did he meet someone? Mm -hmm. Right. Was he working on life number six? Because when Child Protective Services got involved, he said to Harley Ho, he said to her, he said, this marriage is not going to work out. He said, he goes or I go. Okay. That weekend, he supposedly was not home. Why was Seth kept away from his son? And the neighbors have spoken with Seth. He has gone door to door asking people what they know, what they have seen. Good question. You had Seth on camera um, um, at the county jail. And that's where that's where the timeline that's where it stops. I mean it's I mean it's because nobody knows what happened. Um 
before the 911 call, well, okay, they didn't call 911, they called dispatch. And they actually called, um, it's actually dispatch, because their friend, she works in dispatch. Is it the, is it a relative or what? Because I heard that. And that would actually make more sense. Like I would rather get a hold of someone that I know. And I'm not I'm not taking up for anyone. It's just, you know, things it's have to make sense, sense to me. But I mean 911 makes more sense to me than anything. Now, you would think that, but I went back and forth with actually um it's my wife about this. Mm -hmm. And I said, um who would you have called if, um, now, I have five kids, if, um, well, they're adults now, but if actually um, one of our kids when they were young went missing, she said, I would probably call you first, and then I would call, um, it's actually 911. Yep. So... That yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't agree. I will be phoning at 911 first. Then after I come off that phone call, I'll, or I'll get another phone. So I'm getting another phone off to phone my, my husband. Right? But I wouldn't phone my husband first and then 911. I'll be phoning 911. My husband, because if he goes, if I phoned my husband up and he said, "Have you phoned the police?" I'd be go. Do you think I'm sick? <laughs> okay, I'm on my way home. Okay, but if he, if I phoned him first and said, "Have you phoned the police?" And I, said, no, I haven't done that yet. If, what are you holding on? Please hang up now. Phone the police. I'll be right home. He'd probably be more mad at me for not phoning first than anything else. So, no, I can't agree that I would not be phoning my husband first. I would be phoning the police. doesn't sound, um, it's actually strange. And the... Now, will your wife come on the show tomorrow as well? Because I'm getting all of this documented right now. Will she come on tomorrow as well? Yeah, sure. So I got. So I can. But I won't. I'm going to be able to take notes because it's members only. Right? Any <coughs> 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 books as I look? Not put show you put play this on my log and just put a picture up of Sebastian so it's not showing have now. <coughs> so I can listen with it, my viewers and it'd be like, so well, yeah or no, but to be honest, I probably wouldn't, I'd probably just take notes. Eventually, point it to the book, so we'll wait and see what she does. <laughs> I'm going to sub up after the pay the money, and then she'll put it in public. <laughs> I mean, um, so I'll wait. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'm going to go through all of this that we've gone through, because I might have some okay. other questions for you. Just disguise your name. Don't put your phone number out. Um, I'm mean, obviously sent and text me your phone number. That would be great. Yeah, if you have yeah. mine. Oh, here. Uh, um, I'll give it to you now if you have a pen. Uh, I don't. Just email it to me. Okay. Okay. All right. Or, or, or text and, and, me or whatever, and then we will do this this show tomorrow. 
And uh, I've always got a pen and paper on me. I mean, it's for Sebastian. Yeah, and that's what the goal is for is, I mean, we have to bring him home. Mm -hmm. We have to find out what's going on. And then here, I'm just going to say this in closing. And this is something that I'm sure that if there's one person that has not actually thought about this, then I think they're that they're just actually that they're just way out there is actually this. It's been over two months. Um, he is 15 years old. Now, you look at this and you have to think of this. She has to be eating food. Mm -hmm. Um, where is he getting food? Where is he getting food? Where is he getting water? Why did they have him in pull-ups? Why were they were withholding food from him? Why did they have a mattress in this their place was garage? a boot camp? I it agree, Justin. I agree. straight up boot camp. Mm -hmm. Nothing Before else. Before we go on to the um, rest of the show, if you guys could take a second and hit the like. I always forget to ask you guys that. I'm sorry. But have you ever been sprayed with a pressure washer before, Justin? Yes, it hurts. It'll cut you if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. I sprayed my feet with one a couple weeks ago. I didn't realize it would hurt that much. Oh, I almost... Yeah. I almost thought I was going to break a toe. Yes. Yep, it can cut you. But if you're not careful. Where are you at with this case? Do you think he truly just walked out the front door? Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. I don't believe kids just, just disappear. I don't. Do you know that thud that Katie goes on about? Right. I don't think it was him walking out the door. I think he, he was in the garage. She had locked that outer door from the garage out to outside. I think she'd locked that. And I think she'd locked the inner door where you go from the garage to the house. And I think it was him banging or kicking at the door to get in. I really do. Now, now I'm putting things together. I don't think he was in his bedroom. Right? Um, I'm not going to go any further with this because there's no... It's just chit-chat, really. And I think... Hi, Tracy. I think it was him kicking the door from the garage to the house to get it or banging on the door. But a thud would be more like a kick. I think he was in the garage that night. And his mum put him in there at say, because he wouldn't go to bed at nine o'clock, she put him in there. Well, his mattress is in there. So why wouldn't you sleep in there? Right? I'm good, Tracy, thanks. Right, so we're just finishing off that last bit of that interview with the phone call from, um, oh God, Crime Lines and Lines, and um, that I didn't finish off last night. But I want to show you another interview with the Pascal Show. And because I haven't actually seen that one, I've only seen a very short clip of it. Because I was so busy today doing other things. I'm on my laptop. Then I'm doing some else. Then I'm back on my laptop. Then I'm doing some else. Okay. Right. So I've been a bit, a bit of everywhere. Everywhere I've been today in this house. Right. So um, I've had one of those manic days in my head where I can't just sit still for more than five, ten minutes. I've got to get up and do something else. 
I'll get distracted and then I'm doing one thing and I'll see something out the corner of my eye and I think, oh, oh, I've got to do that. And I'll stop doing what I'm doing on my laptop to get up and do that. And then while I'm doing that, something else will catch my eye and I'll, I'll go off and do that. So it's been a bit manic day today. But I, I truly think now, from what I'm hearing, he was in the garage that night. And that blood was him kicking the door to get in. <coughs> he was... <coughs> <coughs> we don't know if, if when he was sleeping in that garage, if he had a duvet or blankets or anything. And I bet he was put out there without right? his shoes on. Because he had his pyjamas on. So why would he have his shoes on? So he, I think he was in that garage that night. And I think he's died. Could have been hypothermia, anything. But that's, no, that's my one opinion. Right? But I'm just hoping and praying I am wrong. And I'm hoping and praying that picture that was put out a week ago, today, well, not, it wasn't put out till Monday, but the picture law enforcement had a week ago today is Sebastian. Now, they have got video of him. They've got video of that lad at the park, at Grandfather's Mountain. Right? They've got pictures, but they won't show Seth. Because, like I said, could you imagine if Seth sees something in that video and he recognised someone? Right, he'd be, he'd be in his car and getting doors down. He really would. Yeah, I do. I really do. But um, I want to be proven wrong because normally I just get these feelings. Like I don't even have to meet someone. I've only got to hear about that person, and I think no, he's no good. No good. Get him out of your life. You know what I mean? And no one's proved me wrong yet. No one. Aye. Right. So, yes, we're going to watch the Pascal interview, okay? And I like the Pascal. Pascal. I don't think he's actually done an interview with uh, for a while. Right? Now, bearing in mind, the PI that has stepped down, which I'm quite glad about. Hold on. <coughs> because... She's more for the YouTube and Facebook. You're not there for that. You're there to get information and find information out and report back to Seth. Not to go on YouTube and channels and go on Facebook pages. You know what I mean? The other PI, who we know, She was going on her Facebook pages, but she wasn't going on YouTube channels. She'd been on one, and I don't think she'll go on another. Right? After that fiasco the other week, with Web Sleuth, it's like a bull in a china shop. So, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. We got a lot to talk about. But one thing I do want to bring up is that we do have a new member coming in and is going to be a part of the search, be a part of the information giving out to media, these pods, podcast streets, etc. There is a new member. Bye. Uh, will there be any searches of only here, only here the parents' homes for now? Uh, Seth is back home. 
I think all searches were put on hold because of the threats that were being given out and the fact that I was being followed. And he, he didn't want to risk any harm coming to the searches, so he put all that on hold. And now I feel this case is taking another direction. Right? So um, we just got to see where, where it takes us now. Because if this is Sebastian in that picture, then, because as I said earlier, on one of the YouTube channels I was watching earlier, he cropped a picture down. You know that picture of that lag going around? He cropped it down so it just had that lag. Right? And then he cropped another photo of Sebastian down, the one where he's standing by the trophy. He cropped it down just so it had him showing. And he put both the pictures side by side. I swear to God, they literally, it's the same height, the way they stand, the way their ankles go in, and the feet, angle, everything. That is Sebastian. In my eyes, I truly believe it's Sebastian. So my thoughts, my opinions that I first came out with, I put on hold. Are on hold because I'm praying, hoping this is Sebastian. You know what I mean? You put the two pictures side by side and you could see it. Same height. He even doing it so that the they're standing up straighter, sort of thing. So you could see them height height wise and the way the feet went, everything. It was so but yeah. And this YouTuber's in, in touch with Seth a lot as well. But I'm not going to put his name out there because I don't want to... I've got so many now, I've got to add to my description. It's unbelievable. Because I've mentioned a few names already. So they've got to go into the description. But I don't think there'll be any more searches. The only search now is looking for Sebastian alive. But Seth is back home. The parent, the mother and Chris are back at the was at the caravan park. Uh, we're on the fifth now, are we? Let me put my joke. We're on the fifth, aren't we? Yeah, we're on the fifth month, so the fourth. So this, the video that was taken, I think it was taken on the third, which was yesterday. So they are back down at the caravan park, park. And guess where they parked up again? Right at the front. Why don't they park up near the back where people can't see them? You know what I mean? You'd be safer as well up the back. But no, they park right at the front again. So it's the way People, there's people who live down there who are following this case, who drive past there daily to go to the shops, to go to the schools, to go whatever. But they drive past there daily. So they see them whenever their cars are there. Let's see their cars. <laughs> so it's their own fault. Park, well, park somewhere where you're not going to be seen from the roadside. Sorry, Kate, CP, you, you fucked up again. You fucked up as parents and you fucked up as knowledge-wise. CP, you're vile. You're vile. What I've heard lately in that interview with Power Spray and uh, what else? Talk, calling him a retard. Calling Sebastian a retard. You're the retard, Chris P. Chris Proud Feet. You're the retard. How dare you? Right? And how is the, grand, the family, the grandparents or step-grandparents, took all the other grandkids to Disney World. 
but they didn't take Sebastian because it's too much trouble. No, it's because it's not blood. He's not blood. The errors are all blood related. He's not. They don't look on him as a grandchild. They're probably like a bit like Chris, how, they, how he looks at him. It's how they, these two grand, step grandparents look at him. I think that whole family are vile. I really, really do. And if anyone wants to come in on chatting, stick up for Chris, then do so. Because believe me, I've had enough now. I am going to go for it. Anyone comes in this chat now, I, I said the other day, people can come and give their opinions. Fine. But after what I've heard, no, no, don't even bother breathing in my chat if you going to stick up for CP. I'm worried about Katie at the moment because no one's heard or seen of her since she's done that interview. No one's heard or seen her. He's using her car to go to work. So she can't, well, I don't know if she can drive his, his vehicle. You know what I mean? But why is he using her car, not his own? Makes me sick. So, we're going to watch this video and see what I say on here. I just want to go past a little bit. Right. Yeah. Afternoon, fellas. How y'all feeling? Good evening. Hello, Team Sebastian. Yes. How you doing, Pascal? I'm good, my brother. I'm good. First off, Tony, we got to get straight into it. Because I know a lot of people are going to sit there and go, wait a second, Tony looks mad familiar. Haven't I seen him on something else before? Yes. No, you didn't see him on a re rerun of Friends. You were seeing him in, in, on the most recent case that he's still on and still a spokesperson for, for Caleb Harris. So I want to say, first off, thank you so much for stepping forward and linking up with I never Seth case. to be his person of course of course now i'm curious seth why are you having a spokesperson now it's been a it's been 66 days since my son has gone missing and dealing with searching making sure that people are getting vetted dealing with interviews and everything else it's it's time consuming it's stressful. Yeah. And when he offered to to assist me with it, God send somebody. That's what's up. Now, and I love that there is going to be this new alliance. You got Tony coming through, and he's gonna speak on of the case because I know that. You have a lot going on for yourself right now, Seth. I mean, as far as just being on there, boots on the ground, trying to found, find Sebastian right now, there's a lot going on. You know, you're traveling quite a bit. There's a lot of chaos, and there's got to be someone who can actually be connected to the, to the media uh, while you go out and do what you need to do. So, Tony, uh, welcome to the search. Welcome to the story. How's it been so far with this, uh, with this whole thing right now? It's been good. I mean, Seth and I have gotten uh, gotten close. I've had some good conversations with him. I've also had some good conversations with uh, Chris and Katie. Um, my my goal was to initially was to try to bring everybody together and and limit Not some of the, uh, the, the drama that had been out there in the social media streets, as you say, uh, <laughs> right. and and simply want to. Simply want to help uh, get everybody redirected and uh, find Sebastian. So, uh, again, I've had a lot of good conversations. I've had good conversations with uh, and we're not going to be done. I'd love to represent them free and get everybody working together. Can I ask you that, though? Let's let's get that. Let's get I'll that go, out of the I'll way. Go. He's had conversations with Chris and Katie. Has he actually? 
missing, Katie? That's my question. Or it be just a phone call? To see physical proof that Katie is okay. Not a phone call or go live and not showing you a picture. I want to see physical proof that Katie is okay. The, get the elephant in the room out the way. Has there been any? Why aren't you representing all three right now? So I've I've been for uh, Chris and Katie again. I've had a fire phone conversation with last week. Um, you know, I felt like we were in a good place. Uh, I made it known kind of how I operate, which is I do control all the media. I really would like, as I've told Seth and I told Chris the same thing, uh, told Katie the same thing. I, I really would like them to be out from in front of the camera. I think there's been a lot of drama, a lot of deterrence from finding Sebastian and really I'd like to take control of that for them and, and get everybody united to find in Sebastian. So, yeah. you know, one of the prerequisites when we do an interview is, uh, as I told you earlier today is, you know, if I was, if I was representing Chris and Katie and I was doing an interview with them, there would be no talking about Seth. And when we do an interview with Seth, we're not going to discuss Chris and Katie. We're not going to throw darts at each other. I'm going to lead by example. And we are going to focus on finding Sebastian, just like we're focused on finding Caleb on the other case I'm working on. So blessed to be a part of this. And uh, I think we've got a lot of work to do, but I'm up for the challenge. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, Seth, anything you want to add on top of what Tony just said? His goal is my goal is to keep Sebastian in the forefront. Sebastian is the goal. Everything else is a distraction. Yeah. We just want to find Sebastian and bring him home. Right on. Right on. Uh, I think we all can agree on that, right? Every single one of us that's in the chat. I mean, even so. I know that there's going to be some uh, pushback, some people that feel some type of way about anything about this case. But we can all agree. We can all agree on that one thing, which is bringing Sebastian back home. So let's talk about Sebastian. There's been some new information, some photos, or at least a photo that recently dropped. And I want to share this with you guys because, of course, I know you guys already know about this, but I want to, you know, I want to confirm a few things. Okay. So here is itself. Okay. Um, of course, this was found, or apparently there was a sighting uh, at the visitor center at uh, the Grandfather Mountain, Linville, North Carolina. Now, I'm very interested to know, in your personal opinion, since we have you here, do you believe this to be a, a sighting, a, a, like a legitimate sighting of Sebastian? I believe so. Okay. Okay. Now, I know that I jumped in my vehicle and drove to North Carolina. I'm glad you mentioned that. So you get to the place this photo was taken uh was there any was there anything that you you saw or anything of that sort before we get into the into the more finite details was there anything like to confirm that this was an actual sighting of something that was not actual ai You there, sir? Investigator, she did reach out and spoke to the person who took the picture mm -hmm. and to the person that posted the picture. Okay, so there was actual conversation with. I was not involved in in uh, I was involved in the conversation with Seth while he was almost all the way to North Carolina when he got there that uh, that he was probably going to be disappointed that they probably 
would not. Uh, this is when we had heard there was footage. And I explained to him that they were probably not going to share the footage with him. And when he got there, he kind of figured out that's what the situation was. It was close to the chest. And quite frankly, I completely understood why law enforcement was doing that. And when they had it, if it was that they developed you know, to Katie and to us, but uh, that is him, and they've got to. We've got to be patient. I completely understand why Seth. If I was a father, I'm in my vehicle and I'm on my way there, just like he was. Yeah, no and doubt. I just say he, that Tony Mathis said, if there is any information in this video, uh, which release, they will tell Katie. And Seth, not Katie, and C Chris, and Seth, just Katie and Seth, because they are the parents. CP, you're an a hole, and you're not a father or a stepfather. Just trust you. So let's just get that right, okay? Used it as a great opportunity to hand out flyers, create some awareness ask some questions and you know I, I was uh i was certainly proud of him for getting in the vehicle and heading right there no questions asked because that's the same. real quick the conversation that your pis had with the person who actually took the photo what exactly did they say what what was the interaction like uh how did they get this photo taken so on and so on I wasn't privy to that conversation. My private investigator already knew that I was going to want the picture vetted. And she reached out. She did that prior to me asking. So when I turned around and asked her, she said she had already vetted the picture. And I okay. loaded it up and headed up there. When I got there, Tony was right. I looked at the video footage. I flyers. I knew my son to get one. Uh, it's North wow. Carolina, side C. But I used the opportunity as I went up there. Time I stopped for gas, used the bathroom, anything, hand out flyers the whole way up and the whole way back. Good. Well, I mean, I'm glad it used your resources in the best way possible, right? And uh, you saw this photo. You believe that it is to be that of Sebastian. You go down there. You you ask, can I see? The photo, or can I do? You, do you know? It's under investigation. They informed me that enforcement had told them to share the the video. It's everything had been vetted. Uh, from my ending, T, I reached out to North Carolina, what they classify as SBI, and asked for their assistance. And under investigation. I'll release it. But I feel like a, a naturally a lot of people are going to react the same way I'm thinking in my head. It's like this biological son, you have rights, don't you? And they let you go and see this footage. Tony, can you expand on that a little bit? So I broke this down for you earlier today, and I broke it down for Seth the other day. And Seth can answer this question as we play through this. If they show that video to Seth, and that uh, shows Sebastian walking into a vehicle and getting into a vehicle with a stranger. And Seth catches a glimpse of the license plate on that vehicle. Seth, what would you do? Retrieve my son by any means that necessary. Exactly. By any means. By so that's, any that's why. means. Kick okay. the door, guys. You name it. But I've Seth's side. I would be my knees 
jerk reaction would be, I'm not going to on that door. Okay. Uh, they're going to know my presence. Like, like lickety split. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, but I do want to make is properly vetted before at least any type of information. But you no. Know, so what's going on? Well, there's, they've got a first bear eye that uh, who's there. Got a more. They're gonna probably have. I mean, it's 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 uh, not a lot different than a lot of other cases. I mean, to get some. If I'm kidding, your but is there is going to have to be a little bit of patience to figure out what it is we're we're digging into here i see yeah it, but it's so weird I and mean, that's just me you know i'm just a regular guy here all right your dad uh, uh yeah dad you know but i'm also a human being too right and instantly yeah. i'm going wait a second all right this doesn't make any sense why why are they dragging their feet on this information especially when there is just making sure this is abundantly clear for everybody who's watching even the fans watching seats well video of this particular person there is actual footage of this that's that's correct seth correct there is actual footage of that correct correct seth correct that's crazy Tony, Seth, that's absolutely crazy. That is crazy, and and yet still nothing. Now, you. But what exactly did they say about? How do you know that there's video in the first place? Seth, Seth I'll let you take that. Well, they have security cameras. So somebody came to. Part. But somebody came to you and actually said, yes, there is actual video footage. When I arrived, I could see that there was security cameras, which means there will be footage. And when I asked, they told me that they were informed not to show me anything because it is under investigation by law enforcement. Wow. Is that a criminal investigation now, Vic? Okay. Okay. Hmm. And there's nothing you can do to expedite this at all. No, sir. Man. Okay. All right, Seth. Pray. 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 <laughs> this it that's insane. Um continue to pray. You can only continue to pray. So then okay, let the person that you I talked to and all that. And I mean, uh, it, it, have you guys in touch with the person? Have they run into a particular person again? Or is it just a one time type of deal when it comes to this photo right here? They were just in that spot, took a picture. They were up. Oh my god, my hacking. Because it's everyone's on the internet and it does the hacking. My mask is there to enjoy. Can we discuss a little bit uh, in this photo? Because I know that there are theories, uh, speculation on this woman. She's not involved. Is there any leads as far as who the woman could be and all that? No, no idea who the lady is. No. Oh, oh. oh okay. So she, she could have just, just been, been walking. She could have just been walking by to go to her vehicle. Man. Okay. Oh, another thing, though, too. I know this is like just an ear, but here, looks like another kid. Maybe 
right there. Well, if you scroll back out and you look down, you'll see that there's two feet right there. Yeah. And he's walking one direction. And the person mm -hmm. that I believe to be Sebastian is walking another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honey, what, walking what, different what directions. On, okay. on, you know, laying your eyes on this footage and uh, on this photo and, and everything. What are your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, I it's hard to refute what Fox says, right? No doubt. Uh, his son, then I'm going to support him in believing that. Uh, I told Seth when I first saw the picture without any A or anything like that, I believe it looked like posture. I believe that there was a possibility that, uh, that it was him. Nobody knows like the medical mother and father. And, and if it says that he believes it's him, then I'm going to support him in that. Yeah, no doubt. Let me ask you this then, too. Uh, Seth, any word from the Proudfoots about this photo? Do they believe this to be Sebastian or is or did it, do they think different? I haven't had much communication with them since I returned from North Carolina. And when I was up in North Carolina, I had no signal. Okay. Okay. Man. Okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully you guys are going to have a conversation in soon, right? Um, <laughs> where y'all have signal. Don't hold the breath. <laughs> Same time. Because uh, hopefully we work together. You know, that alliance is still prominent, right? Correct. Okay. Well, I mean, fingers crossed. Real talk for that uh sure i got a couple questions uh, spoke and talk about this sighting here i appreciate you guys blessing us with your time. real talk seth tony we really do appreciate it real real talk michelle says thank you so much sebastian strong all day we agree all day. just like Pascal, I would definitely, your fan base is Sebastian's army. They are Team Sebastian. With their help, with everybody's help, Sebastian will be found and brought home. And I appreciate all the help yeah. that you're doing you. by keeping my son's name out there. And I appreciate all the support. Of course, Sebastian brother. Army. Of course. We're, we're all Sebastian Strong here. Okay, all of us. We all want the same thing. Sebastian, Sebastian home, strong, transparency, truth, all day long. and just him home, right? And oh, I feel oh like we'd all do the oh. same for each other, right? We'd all fight and bring up conversations and have a Tony Mathis, like I said, you know, having someone to come in and and take the brunt of some of the the heavy lifting while you can go off and work on finding Sebastian, figuring out if he is in North Carolina or not. We're all here. Uh, for the exact same goal at the end of the day even michelle says amen right uh the the five can uh the five canes says uh cp verbally abused a lady today so good luck well um We're i'm not gonna talk about that yeah i i don't know if that's true or not so you know like i said the rumor mill is still rumor milling okay and i will say this too the prophets love to have them on the on this platform to have a conversation anytime they want literally I want to make that abundantly clear, okay? Because, hey, they have some information. Seth has some information. If there really is an alliance going on, come on over. Let's have a conversation. A conversation. Um, Stephanie, thank you so much. Wouldn't a, wouldn't a parent... If I had one of the biggest... Giving, I would not have... C P on that there. I'd have Katie on there. Do that before I had C P on there. Sorry. Don't like the guy. And I'm not gonna hide the fact. And they've already said before the interviews or before that started that 
they said they're not gonna bring if if they're doing an interview with Seth, they're not bring Katie or Chris into it. And if they're doing an interview with Katie and Chris, they would not bring Seth into it. So why would a member pay one ninety nine or whatever to put that comment there? Paid it because she knows that he'll read it then because it's paid. The sticker. Right? And I think that's wrong. They heard him say they would not because they're doing the interview with that Mathis guy and Seth. They would not talk about Chris or Katie. They said it. I heard it. Everyone heard it. So I think it's wrong that members are asking them. Because they know if you send a super stick, I had super stickers. You sent me one in. I read it out. Right? Because they come first. Because you paid for that. So you, you kind of highlight them up first. You know what I mean? And I think it's wrong that a member would do that. It's putting them in a I've already said they're not talking about Katie or Chris. So to put that one up about probably having a go at a woman, that's got nothing to do with what they're talking about. They're talking about Sebastian. They're not talking about Chris and his big gob. And your size forty foot. Right? They're not talking about that. So if anyone wants to come in my chat and talk about CP, five. You can talk about him all day. And if anyone even thinks of coming in this chat and sticking up for CP, I don't care. I've only got a few members. You know what I mean? I don't care if I lose some. I will not have it. No way. I won't put the comment up anyway. They can comment, but I won't put it up on the screen. I'm told to do me what I want to do on my panel, on my YouTube channel. And if I don't want to put a question up and put a comment up and I don't want to put it up, I don't have to put it up. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. And I do not have to put anything up that involves CP. I'm worried about Katie. That guy said he had a trade by phone. That's by phone. No one has seen her physically. No one has seen Katie physically. Either on video or driving about in the car or going home to the house no one right i want to know she is okay if i get the like oh there's a video about with katie on it i'm watching it because i want to know she's okay once i know she's okay i don't care then But I am worried about Katie because we haven't heard your singer. Because Chris is doing all the talking. Oh, yeah. Chris is doing all the sweet talking to ladies on YouTube channels on late night phone calls. Yeah. He's working on number six. Katie, jump ship now. Jump that ship. And swim for your life and get away from him and tell him what has been happening. Because somewhere along the line it's going to come out. The truth will come out. Anyway, it's just question times on there. So actually, in here, right here, is this guy now. I'll get rid of that picture. Just add like that, mini. Right, this guy here is now the sixth person. 
So he'll be doing more of the interviews than Seth. Which is a good thing. Why? Seth can either concentrate on going down to North Carolina, doing searches down there and getting flies out there. He just he's he said himself knew about Sebastian on the way down there about Sebastian being missing. It's just by pure chance that woman had seen a flyer of Sebastian and had heard about Sebastian going missing and she saw that lag and she took that photo. Pure look. That was fight. That was fight. Right. So, as I said, I just wanted to show you that little clip. I was talking about you know, that hour or so long, but I'm not like not there for that long. I don't think they're both there for that long. My sense for them to be there for over an hour. They can't talk about it much. They can't talk about the video, what's on the video, because Seth has not seen it. Uh, they can't talk about Katie and Chris because. They're not in the interview. So, what is there for people to talk about? Apart from that photo, we all know that that is Sebastian. That is Sebastian. If it's not, it's a flipping double guy. A lad who looks like him, the same height as him, the same posture as him. Everything about that lad is the same as Sebastian. And I'd be like Seth, if I saw him getting into a car, I would track them down and kick their flipping doors in and get my eyes on. There might be in a motorhome where they're travelling everywhere and anywhere. You know how uh, Sebastian loves uh, uh, road trips. So travelling in your motorhome, he glove because he's going on a road trip to new places. Is his mother meeting up with him anyway and seeing him? You know what I mean? Because she can't phone him. The phone calls will be recorded. Except law enforcement, TBI, I don't know. That wouldn't surprise me if they've got a burner phone. So, let's see. All we can do now is wait for for them to do what they're going to do with those video, video they've got. All the checks, everything. And, I'll say, and as I said, it's not an overnight. They, they just said they've got to get subpoenas. Right? So, and they, they are not going to think, oh, I'll just get one tomorrow. Don't worry, you just, just got to go, go to the courts or where that and get a subpoena tomorrow. Yeah, no, don't work like that. Sorry to tell you. Right, so they've got to be patient. Seth has got to be patient. He's got to ignore what is going on with CP. Just ignore it, Seth. We're here for you and we're here for Sebastian. We want to be Sebastian Holmes. Just ignore all that background noise. Because that's what it is. It's just background noise. It's not it's there to royal you up. So ignore what you've heard with neighbours, maybe. Ignore all that. You there's time for that once we get Sebastian home. When we get Sebastian home, then you can do whatever you want, Seth. But let's get Sebastian home. Ignore all this interviews and whatever about neighbours saying this and neighbours saying that and about child protection services going there because of the max thing making him sleep in the garbage. Right. So ignore it, sir. Stay strong, stay on the right path, and we'll get there. And we'll bring Sebastian home. And I'm not just going to say Sebastian, I'm going to say Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. We are going to get you. We are coming for you. 
We will find you and we will bring you home. Sebastian Strong. The army. That's what we are on here. We're Sebastian's army. And we are going to bring you home. And there's loads of this people, loads of people Sebastian, in Sebastian's army. And they can't knock one of down. You can follow them, you can threaten them, but you can't get to some of us. I'm in the UK. The only way you can get to me is through my page. And you know what? I don't care much, you know, those keyboard warriors. And they can type all the like, type what I want, type whatever. It's just work. It's an old saying. This is an old saying now because it don't apply so much anymore. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But in cases, words do hurt. Don't make quit. So, how do you spell that word again? R E T A R D. Chris, you called Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. A R E T A R D. How dare you? How dare you? You are disgusting. You are vile. Like I said, if I had the biggest platform going, I would have Katie on my platform. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have a sidekick, Chris. I'd have Seth on my platform. I'd have anyone else on my platform, even if they're for Sebastian or not. I'd have them on my platform. But if they're gonna be vile and disgusting as Chris is, then don't even think about it. Right, I don't want you. I don't mind. You can come in my chat. You can say what you like in my chat. But I won't post it. I won't put it up on my screen. I did the other night, but not to watching and listening to what I've heard on those videos. I am disgusted. It makes me sick. To you know he said those things. And that poor lad was having to leave in that house with him. And knowing that even though he wasn't supposed to be there, knowing he would come home any time he wanted. He lived in flipping fear. Because I tell you now, if, it, you, if Sebastian was playing up, that's why I was on the phone for three hours. Sebastian was playing up. Put him in the garage. Put him in the garage on that mattress. Don't deserve to stay in his bedroom if he's going to piss and everything, put him in the garage, and I think that's what the thug was, I think that thug she was hearing at 10 o'clock was him kicking the inner door of the garage to get in, because it was flipping cold, it's 10 o'clock at night, and we had on with some thin tracky like pyjama bottoms and a thin t-shirt. Katie, you're just as bad for letting for doing that. If this is true, you're just as bad for letting you get away with doing that to your son. Anyway, I rest my case. I hope Sebastian is fine, and I hope to, he's brought home very soon. And when that day, it's party time on here. You can all grab a pint of beer or a glass of wine, whatever you like to drink. You drink it because I can't drink because of medication. But we'll all celebrate. I think every YouTuber covering this case will be celebrating the day Sebastian is brought home. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, right, let's take this off. I'm going to say thank you to everyone for being here tonight. Everyone who's commented, I love you all. Thank you for subscribing, liking, 
the inbound for further notifications. I really appreciate it all. And we're going to go out with Sebastian. So I'm going, I've just got a pop up there. I'm just got there. So thank you for being here once again. And I will see you. I don't think I'll be on tomorrow. I'm not sure. I need a day off. Unless some big comes out, then I won't be on. I can't see anything happening now till Monday. I'll be very surprised if any news comes out tomorrow. If there's a, a press release, then yes, I'll be on. If there's any new information about Sebastian, yes, I'll be on. But otherwise, I, I don't think I will be on tomorrow. So, I will see you all Monday. Use your time, use your face.